Hi, I'm Paul from Symmetrics, and today we're going to show you how to install your AG90 battery powered saddle mag meter. Installation is quite simple for both new installations and when replacing your propeller meter in an existing installation. This video will show you how to install both types of installations. In your AG90 box, you'll find your insertion meter with hinge display lid, your security seals, your security tabs, your cable glands, rubber gasket, a saddle for your particular size of pipe. If you ordered an optional power output cable, that will be included as well. We recommend having the following tools on hand. A small flathead screwdriver, a crescent wrench, and or channel lock. And to open up your meter, I would also recommend you have a six inch strap wrench, a large channel lock, or maybe even a pipe wrench just to crack that lid open. First, you'll want to select a position on the pipe that ensures a full pipe with minimum flow distortion and has the appropriate amount of straight run. For the AG90, that will either be 5, 10, or 20 times the pipe diameter upstream and 2 times the pipe diameter downstream. Any position around the pipe is perfectly fine. If this is a new installation, you'll want to cut a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole in the pipe. If you are replacing a propeller meter, just pull the old meter out and the existing hole will work just fine. This is an example of a 1 3 quarter inch new hole. This is a common 4 inch hole for propeller meter installation. Once you've selected the perfect spot, it's very important to measure 3 and 3 quarter inches and record your pipe measurement for programming later during the installation. That uh, pipe diameter, inside diameter, is extremely important for the uh, programming of the meter. Make sure you know what it is. Now, you'll just clean the mounting surface of the pipe to remove any roughness, and we can go on to installing the saddle. Next, you'll center the provided gasket over the hole and lower the saddle onto the pipe. Make sure no gasket is showing across the edge of the saddle here. Then you're going to want to position the saddle clamp up through the clamp guides. Place the saddle plate over the screws and make sure they catch the edge of the saddle here. Tighten the nuts down. And tighten the nuts in a cross pattern to 75 foot pounds. Finally, Take your meter and you'll insert it into the saddle opening and secure it with a U-clip. You'll need to set three variables or your meter will not operate. If these variables are not set correctly, your meter will not operate correctly. If those adjustments are not made at all, your meter will not operate at all. The adjustments are in the menu screen. You'll need to enter the menu screen, hold the up arrow, tap the right arrow to enter the setup, the uh, password screen, hold the up arrow, tap the right arrow, all within about one second, enter the menu screen, tab over to the exit tab, one, two, three, four, five up arrows, you're in the second menu screen, arrow over to the setup tab, and the first thing will be ID. Now before we measured the ID of this pipe to be 3.75 inches, so we'll come over here, 3.75, these are very important, if they're off just a little bit, your meter will be off. Arrow over to the right to the ID tab again, go up, adjust, adjust just simply alters the way your meter works when it's in the pipe. You don't need to adjust this at this time. Up again, two hole sizes, 
one small if it's a new installation with the one and three quarter inch hole in the pipe, uh, one large if you're replacing a propeller meter. This was a small hole, so we'll leave it at small, tab over to the hole size. The pipe uh, straight is 20 pipe diameters upstream of straight pipe. We'll go through here. 10 and 2 is 10 pipe diameters upstream of the, the, uh, the meter to an elbow or some other obstruction. 5 and 2 is 5 pipe diameters upstream, 2 to pipe diameters downstream from an elbow or some other obstruction. So that brings us back, if we do one more back to the ID, and at this point you can oh, tab over to the exit tab, hold and tap, back to the first menu screen, exit, hold and tap, brings you back to the home screen. If you let your meter just fall asleep, when it wakes up it'll be back at the home screen. If you work with any regulatory agencies that require your meter to be tamper-proof, we provide a few tools to help. Once your meter is fully programmed and the settings should no longer need to be changed, unscrew the display cover and place the security tabs over either the left or right sensor button. Now, if you put it over the right sensor button, you'll still be able to tab through your totals, reverse total, net total, batch forward, reverse uh, batch, or you can set it, put to your tab over both of the arrows. Put your cover back on. And in order to secure your U clip to the saddle, so secure the meter to the saddle, you can take a wire security clip run it through the hole in the U-clip, run it through the hole in the saddle screw, put one of these red or whatever color you happen to have security seal on the wire, snap this guy together, And in order to secure the lid to the housing, take one of these black security seals, pull tight security seal, pull that tight. Now you can't take this off without it being evident. So that's all it takes to successfully install an AG90 saddle mag meter. For more information, contact us at www.symmetrics.com. Thanks for watching.